Hello guys, welcome back in this new tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing a new pandas trick to help you efficiently print your data frame. So let's start by importing pandas as pd. So import pandas as pd. And the data set that we'll be using is available on my GitHub repository. Um, it is the video game sales. This is one of the well-known data frame that is also available on Kaggle. And like creates a new data frame. So let's say video game sales data frame equals pandas.read CSV. Then we give the URL of the data frame. And let's have a look at the first five observations of these data sets. So here we have a data set of like we have the five observations here and check the data shape. Wow, well, 16 plus <laughs> 16,000 plus observations in the data set and 11 columns. This can be, you know, difficult to print in your data frame. Um, like in your console. Let's show what I mean here. So let's say video game sales print the head of a data frame. And here it is. Um, we have all the columns that are now shown on the same rows. We have from rank to publisher in one row. And this um, kind of line shows that we cannot print all the columns in this same line then the remaining columns have been brought to a different line so imagine that you have 20 columns imagine 20 columns that can be you know difficult to to observe to to visualize in your console so one way of dealing with this issue is to use the to string function so before moving further let's just create a new variable that will contain let's see VG cells VG cells head now we'll take the five observations and we have the same like we have the same here then print dot to string Compared to this print and that one using the two string function, you can see that all the columns have been shown on the same rows. This is pretty cool, you know. And another way of showing this information is to convert your um, data frame into markdown. So instead of using two string, we can use the to markdown function. So to mark down and with to mark down this is even better um in my opinion because we have these vertical dash lines that um separates every column from one to another we have the index column here that does not have a name and rank name platform all the way to global sales so these are the two tricks um, that you can use to efficiently print your data frame in a console. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also my other tricks are available in the description below uh, in the Medium articles. So let me know as well if there are some other things that you want me to cover in my next videos. Good luck, <laughs> bye bye and see you next time.